just uh, we're gonna check to make sure streaming is back up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Claims I am streaming. Huh. It's a little odd, wasn't it? Hmm. Anyway. Now back to Kerbal Space Program. Finally. Oh. Yeah. Now, God, I got a lot of things to do. Actually, let's go back there and let's see what my active contracts are. Because I didn't do, like, any contracts yesterday. I do need to finish this space station around uh, Mun. Which right now, I think the only thing that's holding it back is the units of fuel. We do have something we can send. Already in orbit. Temperature surveys of Mun. Yep, you know, that's still going. Put a flag on the Mun. Be a little bit, although I have already done a landing, so that's kind of frustrating. Just the satellite specific orbit of Kerbin. Didn't even remember taking this one. Already getting the fan questions of what the hell is going on with that uh, camera glitch. Let's get that back up and going. So we do need that one. We do need the new orbital station of Kerbin. That one is maybe going to be more exciting. It needs a lot of electric charge and a lot of liquid fuel. satellite for the mun. Because that's got a very large reward for that. Um, I might save that till I'm a little low on funds. Oh, that was gonna be 19 science, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on something else altogether. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, to hell with the contracts for the moment. Cause I can't. I'm gonna take our uh, XJ4 out for a test flight, I think. Um, but to do that, I'm gonna do a drone, and then I'm gonna try and afterwards develop a way to carry this sucker into space. What I'll do, fill that away, fill this away, fill these antennas away, fill that away. Just get rid of all this junk for the moment. Because I'm going to replace one of the crew cabins since this is going to be a crew flight anyway. I'm going to try and set up a computer core to, uh, to autopilot. Possibly mic settings. Uh, that might be really loud. Turn that back that down a little bit. Uh, let me know how that goes. All right, now. Need some batteries. So we got batteries, we got a core. It's still probably not anywhere near the weight of the passenger cabin, which is a full ton. Yep, so not, not even close. So I'm gonna try and bring this up to the same weight and the same length as a cabin.
purposes of the test flight, it's going to be important. Now, I want to check and see, all right, how much is one of these, wait, empty? Not a lot. Fully loaded is 1.25 tons. Should be a good that should be a good stand in for the cabin I think how much is this way right now let's look at this this way So this one right now weighs 9.538, regular XJ4, just a little over 10 tons. So okay, we'll go back to this guy, and we'll add extras uh, until we get to that weight. There we go, that's actually dead on. We'll lock this so we don't have extra fuel. Perfect, okay, so this is a perfect weight simulation. Yep, even the, even the center of mass is right where it should be. So, this is a perfect weight simulation of the regular craft. We're gonna do it uh, unmanned. We're gonna do one more flight test. And I'm going to try and build a launch vehicle for this, and then we're, we're going to try a full test of the vehicle. So we will um, keep those on reserve. We'll try out the engine just to give it a little extra altitude. A little even harder to control than normal. And we're going to keep those last. And I'm going to put our abort action in, which will be to deploy chutes. So I can just deploy them that way. All right, this might be a fairly expensive test if it blows up, um, but that's fine, whatever. My biggest concern is flight stability. As long as it's fairly stable, and as long as I'm able to land it, then I will be comfortable putting it on a rocket and trying to send it into space. So it's not gonna have a whole ton of lift. Cause it's really meant, even the engines on there are meant to, um, Provide a little bit of support in the ways of uh, gliding, rather than um, truly being truly being for whoop. Oh, okay, truly being for uh, independent flight. Little extra boost. 
even though this engine is crazy and efficient in atmosphere. Just want to make sure that it's not way off in the center of gravity. And also we'll use it to get some altitude. oxidizer fairly soon. Yep, and then I'll level out. Get us some distance and I'm going to attempt to turn around and uh, make a landing. I just want to make sure the center of gravity